Hello, welcome back. Today is the last video of this series. We're going to get the highest score from our database and put it into the Unity. So whenever we click our button, we'll get a new number and we'll see straight away if our number is the highest score or we have to keep clicking. So let's do it. And I found some example online where you can select the max value from some uh, table. So let's implement it in our code. So I will open our insert score uh, script. And here we have our first SQL query. But now once it's being done, we want to create another query instead of echoing this new record created successfully. So I will delete it. And now we will do it a little bit different. So let's just create a new query. I'll call it SQL2 maybe just to dif differentiate it from SQL that we created before. And now we have to select. And now we have to select max value but we have to select it from the score column. We need to provide some name for it and we'll call it max score. And we want to get it from the scores table. So from scores. And our query is pretty much done. Now we want to, to run this query really but we'll do it a bit different than it was done above. So first we will create a new variable, I'll call it result, and then we'll assign my SQLI query method to it. And inside we have to specify the same thing as we specified here. This is just a different way of doing it. And we have to specify the connection, so con, and then our SQL query, which is SQL2. Once it's done, we need to get those results and we put it in some other variable. I call it data. And now we have to add a new method. It will be called MS, MYSQL. I, and now we want to fetch associative array as SOC and now we want to get the result like so. And the last bit is to echo it and we want to echo this max score from this array. So we will echo and now data and from there we are looking for max score. And I think this is pretty much done. We are not going to echo any message except this max score that will be get from the array. So let's just upload this file to our hosting. I will use FileZilla and drag and drop it and it should be done already. Uh, I think that should be working. So let's let me play and generate number and nothing appears. So let me let me see this SQL again and see what could go wrong. Maybe it's because I have this extra space between the max and the score. I will just get rid of it and save it again. Let me open the FileZilla and try to upload it again. So now if I press play and try it again, generate number and yes, this is working fine now. So I'll do it the same and we keep getting the max value till we will get some value that is bigger than that. Okay, so in the end, we don't want to have it printed in the console, but we would like to have it printed in our app. So let's create another text 
we call it text and maybe give it a name so this will be a max score and let's put it maybe somewhere there let's go back to the code we have to make a reference to it so I'll call it takes the max score and now we have to assign a value to it make it here straight away in just after it was downloaded so just add and we can add this here concatenate actually this is how you call it and we don't need to print it anymore in the console we'll print it in the text object straight away okay that should be working we don't use start and update so i get rid of it i will save it and now let me clear everything and attach our new text max score to the field provided the last bits to make it looking nice maybe i will expand it because th those numbers is pretty big i will put it down and do it like so okay and maybe turn on the best fit just in case if it didn't fit and at the beginning we we'll just get rid of it save it press play and we have nothing generate number and we got our number and the max score like so of course this is not pretty pretty but it didn't mean to be pretty i just wanted to show you how this is being done so you can make it pretty yourself so i hope you have some basic understandments of how it's being done and this is a base for the future project that we are going to create so i see you later and don't forget the script for it and the whole package will be available in some link under the video so you can download it and try it on yourself see you later